This past August featured an amazing boxing match between Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. Before the fight, I, like many people, suddenly began to pay special attention to the world of professional fighting. Building up to the fight, I began doing research to get a better understanding of each contestant. Of course, based on their history, it was easy to tell that Mayweather's many years of experience put Conor at a huge disadvantage. But despite the odds being against him and his major lack of boxing experience, I was still extremely optimistic that Conor McGregor could hold his own against one of the greatest boxers of the 21st century. And what convinced me of Conor's potential was his unique and successful approach to fighting. Conor McGregor has achieved an insane level of success in the UFC, creating a reputation for his unbreakable confidence, insane dedication, and near impossible accomplishment of becoming a two division champion. But what's most unique about this is that he and many others credit much of his success to an active belief in the law of attraction. While this popular philosophy labeled the law of attraction is covered in mystic beliefs and much needed criticism, its core principles of using visualization as a tool for success have been met with promising supporting science. In fact, there is actual proof that active use of visualization as a tool can help us to improve our behavior, confidence, and even performance. But more importantly, by learning how to apply visualization to your gaming performance, you'll be able to tap into one of the key factors for success, the same factors that have allowed people like Conor McGregor to achieve unshakable confidence, an insane level of performance, and the ability to become a champion. Simply put, the law of attraction is a popular belief that all of our thoughts eventually have an effect on our behavior, and by focusing on specific thoughts, you can influence your subconscious mind to change your future behavior. In other words, your thoughts shape your reality, and by actively thinking about success, you can manifest it into your life. But while the original idea of the law of attraction is quite outdated, science has actually confirmed some of its core ideas. Most importantly, the principle of visualization as a tool for achieving success. And one of the best applications of visualization is before a match. Whether it be a ranked game or a match at a local tournament, the moments leading up are often filled with anxiety and second guessing. I'm always fucking nervous, just more or less, that's it. <laughs> like, for example, when we played play-ins, I was probably just as nervous as when I played my first LCS game ever. Like, I felt like I was shaky, like actually legit shaky. And this feeling isn't unique to competitive gaming. It's the same feeling you have right before a job interview, a school presentation, or even a first date. And what's happening in these situations is that our brain is mistaking the pressured event as a life-threatening danger. Since it can't make the difference between the threat of losing a game and the threat of a ravenous tiger, it reacts the same for both. As a result, your brain triggers an energy dump where your body releases adrenaline to deal with the approaching threat. Unfortunately, when it comes to gaming performance, this just makes us jittery, makes it hard to focus, and causes us to waste a ton of energy before the game even starts. And if you're playing at a LAN event, your opponent can often sense your nervousness and take advantage of it to dominate you in game. So how can you avoid this? How can you maintain composure and enter an intense match with a level of relaxed confidence and intense focus that you need to perform? To answer this question, let's look back on Conor McGregor and other top performers. 
With the threat of physical injury and career-ending losses, it seems near impossible to approach a UFC match with a sense of calm, confidence, and focus. Yet, we see many fighters, including the notorious Conor McGregor, doing just this. And his strategy for doing so is in his unique practice of visualization. Before an upcoming match, he'll vividly visualize the process leading up to the fight. I visualize everything. I visualize this conversation. I visualize the walkout. I visualize everything going on. I know I, know I have shots picked out that I'm going to throw in this fight in five weeks. You know what I mean? I have seen everything in my head, and now it's going to happen. You see it in your head, you're going to see it before your eyes. That's what I say. Like Connor, other top performers use similar strategies of visualizing the event before it happens. Many professional speakers will vividly picture themselves walking out onto the stage, giving their speech with a high level of confidence while receiving great feedback from the audience. Then, when they actually walk out onto the stage, their brains are prepared to give the speech, as though they've already done it successfully and confidently. And this strategy is widely accepted by performers in many fields. It allows them to summon the necessary confidence and emotional stability needed to dominate at a high level. It's been probably on par with, with work ethic and, and actually just doing things, probably one of the more important uh, parts of my game and, and something that kind of gets noticed um, with people on the outside, you know, people that don't really understand what it takes and, and they ask the same question, you know, how important is visualization? And, and that's just, it's something that I do uh, pretty regularly. But the real question is, how does this work? Well, from a neuroscientific standpoint, imagining an action and doing it use the same motor and sensory programs in your brain. So by visualizing your performance before it happens, you're convincing your brain that it's actually happening. And so by vividly visualizing the moments before an important game and seeing successful moments within it, you'll prepare yourself for the match. Then when the match begins, you'll have the mental fortitude and confidence to hold your own against your opponents. You'll be able to resist their mind games and perform at your best. But of course, this confidence doesn't ensure your victory. When it comes to doing well, skill level is the biggest factor for winning. Which leads me to the next key of visualization. Potentially, the most interesting use of visualization is using it to develop specific skills so you can match preparation with opportunity when the time is right. Since imagination and action are integrated and engage the same neural pathways, practicing one actually influences the other. One fascinating study took two groups and had them practice piano for two hours a day, except one group was only allowed to use mental practice. They couldn't touch the piano, but would sit in front of it and imagine practicing. The surprising result? The exact same physical changes took place in the motor cortex of both groups. And after three days, their accuracy in playing was the exact same. The reason that someone can increase their coordination, skills, and even strength through visualization is because when you visualize yourself doing something, the neurons responsible for the movement instruction are still being used and strengthened. Thus, when leading up to an important performance, many top competitors will not only imagine the lead up and see themselves doing well, but they'll actually visualize specific sequences within the performance in order to ready their coordination and skill. They do this by picturing exact actions they'll take, the specific skills they'll execute, and how they'll react to various likely situations. Then, once they're performing, their mind is already conditioned and knows exactly what to do without having to stop and think about it, which allows them to take perfect, immediate action. An amazing example of this is when Conor McGregor beat Jose Aldo. Prior to the fight, he visualized Jose's overextending weakness and how exactly he would capitalize on it. Visualizing the sequence over and over made him confident and prepared, so much so that he publicly made a detailed prediction of how exactly he'd win. 
Uh, I was asking you on Thursday about his right hand. Yeah. Can I tell you what you told me? I said his right hand would get him into trouble. It's the shot I predicted. I said he'd overload on his right hand. I said I'd slip. I said I'd bang the left hook. Uh, left hook. And that's what happened. I see these shots. I see these sequences. And I don't shy away from them. This prediction wasn't a result of some mystical fortune telling. Conor McGregor had previously reviewed Jose's matches, discovered his weakness, and visualized himself taking advantage of it over and over again. As a result, he was able to immediately identify this opportunity and capitalize it in the match. So to apply this in your own gaming performance, ground yourself in your own failures and successes, review your matches, and look for specific sequences where you made an obvious mistake or a good play. Then close your eyes and visualize yourself reacting to this moment in a future game, in which you correct your mistake or make a good play again. By doing this, you're strengthening the neurons responsible for performing the sequence. Thus, in a future game, you'll be able to execute on it without any thought. And the more you do this, the more you'll program your mind to recreate good plays, make better decisions, and fix recurring mistakes in your performance. Visualization as a tool has the potential to mentally prepare you for important matches, help you to strengthen your skills, and allow you to perform on a higher level. But it's worth mentioning that repetition is key to this strategy. The more you visualize something, and the greater the detail, the more it will strengthen the connections in your brain, thus the greater your confidence and prepared skill. So consider using the strategy as much as possible, before a match, when reviewing every game, and even when you're away from your computer. Conor McGregor and others like him claim to use it during every possible moment in order to strengthen specific connections in their mind. Can you put yourself in the mindset of the guy who's waiting in line with other people? Always. I'm. Do you remember what that guy always, was thinking? I'm, Were you daydreaming of this? Was that even possible? Every second of every day I was daydreaming. People are talking to me and in my head I'm, I'm counting something. I'm counting up a number or I'm, or I'm knee deep in a sequence on the mat or in, on the feet. That's my life, sequences and numbers, nothing else. But since it's unrealistic to always be in your head preparing your skills, I'd recommend doing so when you're doing mindless activities like walking the dog, brushing your teeth, or taking a shower. During these times, we tend to daydream anyways, so why not use this time to focus on developing your skills by visualizing yourself practicing various sequences? Conor McGregor is an impressive performer. He's achieved massive success, performs with an insane level of confidence, and has amazing mental preparation. One of his greatest tools for success is his active use of visualization, a tool that he and many top performers have used to succeed. Does it feel the way you thought it would? Yeah, it does. It feels beautiful. I dreamt this so much, so clearly, so pre precisely, and so frequently that it has manifested itself into reality. When used properly, the tool of visualization can help you to achieve massive confidence and mental fortitude. As a result, visualization will help you to perform during important matches, help you to develop the cognitive preparation to dominate the game, and ultimately, allow you to become a professional gamer. Hey guys, I hope you loved this video and I hope you learned something new from it. If you did, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't seen it yet, I just completely redesigned the website. I would highly suggest that you check it out to learn more about eAthlete Labs and to see some of the cool stuff that we're working on. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.